Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video, we'll continue to look about offsets in pandas when we are working with time. As in, additionally, we'll also look at custom holidays in this video. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Before we do that, I just want to share this slide again. In this video, uh, we are going to look at these blue highlighted parts which is custom day, month end, month begin, and business hours. There could be some overlap with previous videos, but this would be having some new additional information added on top of what we have learned in the past. Here in Jupyter Notebook, I've imported three libraries, NumPy, Pandas, and DateTime. Now, first item that we are going to look at is rollback and roll forward. Roll back and roll forward so for this we'll create a timestamp queue where we have 2020-07-10 and then hours and let's say 010203 and we look at queue so that's the timestamp we have here, if we are looking to uh, roll forward the business hours, the way we would do that is y is equal to uh, pd dot offsets dot business hour dot roll forward, and we have q, and that's the y. So if you remember the business hour. And the default business hours start at 9 a.m. and end at 5 p.m. So what has happened here is because this was before the business hour started, the date stays the same and only the hours are moved to from. So this is night time and it's moved to morning 9 o'clock and that's roll forward. Now, if we are looking at roll backward, uh, let's try that. So for roll back, here we go to the previous day, which is in this case 9th and the end of that day business hour would be 1700 hours and that's why we have the 17 there. Now let's look at month begin. Month begin. So here we'll use the same timestamp queue that we have created earlier and q plus pd dot offsets dot month begin n is equal to one so that's the default now what happens here is we are moving to the beginning of next month so from july we have moved to august and the beginning of the month is the first day so that's why we have the one and similar to this we can move to month end so q plus pd dot offsets dot month end and again if you specify n is equal to one then uh, in the month of july from the 10th we have moved to 31st that's the end of the month of july and that's why we have uh, that as output for month end now in both these cases we were using addition what happens if we so when we subtract the month begin what if if we are on the same day as the first so in this case we are not so we are on the 10th day of july so when we move back to the beginning of that month we end up on the first of july however had we been on a different point so let's say i'm gonna add another queue here and copy this uh, add here pd dot times uh, it's already there so pd and let me okay so that's good now because in this case the queue is already on the first now if we are going to uh, subtract and go back one month we are going to the previous month so we are going back to June of 1st of June 
because we were on the same month now if we change this back to 10th and run this we now go to the beginning of the same month now similar to the beginning we can look at the month end and uh, subtract this so add a minus sign there now the 10th is in the middle of the month so when we go to the when we are looking at going to the end of the month um, in the previous month so this would be the end of june so that we should get a date of 6 30. so let's run this so that's what we get we uh, get the end of previous month uh, so that's how this works had we been on june 6 june 30 right here then we would get the previous month so month before that so may of 31st now in both of these cases we have used n is equal to 1 what happens if we use n is equal to more than 1 uh, so value let's say a value of 4 so let's try that copy and if you change this to 4 what we are trying to do now is we are moving back four months so when we run this as you can see in this we are in july now we have moved back to the beginning of four months in the past so we have gone back to april and same way if we were to look at the month end then uh, it would work the same way so let's run this and now we have gone four months back to april and the previous month from that is march so end of march would be now uh, what we would see in the output which is march 31st so that's how the month end and month begin work uh, along with the timestamps right here with offset now let's create another uh, example so q is equal to pd dot time stamp and 2020-07-01 again 01 02 03 and q so i'm going to create a gap here and add anchor points so anchor points are the next step in that particular time uh, either increment or going back now if this is the timestamp we are using and now if we are looking at month begin uh, we already looked at this but let's look at it again q plus pd dot offsets dot month begin n is equal to 1 because we are on the already on the beginning of month which is 1st of july we are already on the anchor point so to say and when we go to the beginning uh, we use month begin with n is equal to 1 what we are doing is we are going to the beginning of next month however if we change this n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 0 then we stay at the same month so let's see how that works so if we change this to zero now we are still on the anchor point which is the first of july because we already are on first of july had we been on second of july that would make a difference so now in both cases we move to the beginning of next month which is august so that's uh, the variation where uh where if we use zero and uh, the value of n is equal to zero and we are at an anchor point then the change does happen uh such that it uh, the value stay the same so if you are on july 1st n is equal to zero then output is july 1st however if we are not on july 1st not on anchor point then we get the increment However, with n is equal to 1, regardless of where you are at, uh, there is going to be increment of to the next uh, time step. 
Now, let's look at another variation of this. Uh, let's try that here. I'm going to copy this timestamp that we have already created. Q is equal to this and change the date. So I'm going to put this as 10 and the hours can stay the same. For here, again, if we add, so Q plus PD dot offsets and dot month begin, again, N is equal to one. In this case, as we seen uh, when we did the change, the date to Jan, uh, July 2nd, we now have July 10th. This would move it to August 1st. And same way, if we copy this, paste it here. And again, if we change the value of n is equal to zero, in this case also, we'll move to August 1st as we have seen. That was it for this video. I hope in this video, you'll learn some additional details about how to use period or offsets with month begin and other uh, variety of that where we can change the data uh, and such as we can change the end date or we can change the month begin or we can change the business hours. Uh, I'm sure this will be very helpful. In next uh, coming videos, we'll look at some additional topics in Pandas for time series. I hope to see you all in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.